Hello, sports fans. Um, my sister just gave me this um, book on uh, Sarah Palin, Palin, and um, I'm going through it, and um, she's a remarkable woman, you know, to be sure. And I, I know I did a uh, YouTube on this before, and I did uh, Jackie Mason did one, and uh, you have to really appreciate the effort that the media has done um, um, interviewing uh, her daughter's good-for-nothing boyfriend and uh, just giving him, him as much as an airtime air as they can. In fact, they will give anybody airtime to badmouth Sarah Palin. And um, this has to tell you something, that they are really, really afraid of this lady. Um, and as Jackie Mason pointed out, that otherwise they wouldn't be spending all this time. If she's a bimbo, a dummy, why do they care? Why would they care to spend all this time destroying her? If anything, they should be building her up, sucking her in, and um, um, getting her the nomination so they can trounce her again. But that's not the case. Uh, people like um, Sarah Palin, uh, despite what the media uh, has to say about her. It's a, it's a phenomena, and um, I think it's 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 very revealing ab about this lady, and um, you know God bless her. She's resilient. She can take a punch, and um, she's not threatening to put me in jail like um, Hillary wanted to do with her health care plan, which Obama finally. Um, came up with. We need a, a real change of government. We need we need some more um, Ron Pauls and the like and Kucinich and Huckleby maybe. Um, and the more I see uh, you know, Fox News and the people they have there, uh, the more I'm convinced. And I know I don't know why they're allowing them to do this because they could shut the FCC could shut them down anytime they wanted. Uh, I guess we're being placated. I don't know. But um, when CNN got rid of Lou Dobbs, I mean, that was the only thing they had really going, going for them. Uh, if you really want to hear some, uh, some non-biased news and getting a little of both, both sides, um, you know, Fox News is really the only game in town. There's some good talk radio, um, even coast to coast, uh, George Nori or whatever his name is, uh, they come up with some pretty um, brave um, stands on some issues and uh, once again I mean uh, this mandatory um, vaccination program they're thinking about doing uh, essentially if the UN wants our government to vaccinate everybody guess what they've already signed away those rights we have to get away from any of these international agreements at this point uh, we're being sold out and sold out and uh, people like um, Congressman Casey I mean, Senator Casey, uh, Congressman Carney, uh, Senator Specter, they don't care about you. They just don't care about you. They are on this mission. They've been bought and paid for. And this, this health insurance thing is really amazing when you think about it. I mean, it, it came down to public option versus no public option. What this means is now the insurance companies are guaranteed more business. They are guaranteed more business. And no one has the option of, of saying, hey, you know, this is ridiculous. As a consumer, I think this is outrageous. And we're going to be paying, what, high premiums for how many years uh, before we even get some benefit to, from those premiums? This is like a Ponzi scheme. What Obama has done and allowed to take place is unbelievable, and 90% of the, the media has gone along with it in lockstep. When you, when you look at uh, what's going on, first of all, newspapers should never be able to be bought by any any um, media that is controlled by the FCC or controlled by the government. The, the beauty about newspapers is there's nothing they can do to shut them down. But the government can shut down radio stations, they can shut down TV stations, and um, the threat of having those, the big money, I mean how much does it cost to start a newspaper? You, you get some Xerox copiers and you can, you know, you can uh, have a newspaper. But to have a, a radio station you gotta buy these, these channels, you got to pay the, the government money to be there, 
your license and the whole thing and there's a lot of expense a lot of power that you do uh, this is the reason why they're trying to control the internet this is my ability to talk to you is unbelievable now you may say I'm a nutcase uh, and that's your that's your freedom but you have a freedom to make another uh, uh, YouTube and say hey Joe's a, Joe's a jerk and that's your uh, your opinion I don't know what you accomplished by doing that but um, so that we have uh, the internet any politician worth his weight of anything uh, has the ability to have a, a blog talk radio t a radio show even Imus when he was off the air he could have been on the air I mean so did he really care about getting his his show on the air he could have gone on he could have gone on uh, blog talk radio or a lot of different venues just on internet and screwed the networks He's, he has enough money I think uh, but in any event, um, any of the uh, printed media that is owned by um, by companies that have interests in radio stations and TV stations, you have to be suspect because they cannot they cannot really come down on the government without risking the loss of their station. Um, and this is no small um, point. I think that you have to really look at this uh, as um, something to worry about. Now, you know, getting back as we're going all over on 10,000 issues on this little little um, YouTube, um, think about the concept of all these lobbyists who are spouses of senators and congressmen. This should be illegal because even if they're caught, even if they're caught in some some sort of illicit type of um, arrangement. Um, they can't be forced to testify against each other and you know if we were to do one thing to help clean up this mess we got to start with getting all these lobbyists that have um, family members uh, especially spouses uh, in Congress and in the Senate um, this is something that we really have to put an end to it's it's costing us millions and billions of dollars and we gotta we gotta stop it it's a meal ticket. That's the price you have to pay. If you want to be a senator and, or a congressman, um, I think it's more important on the federal level. I don't know about state senators and all that sort of stuff. It's less of a problem, I think. Um, the other thing um, you might want to look into is getting your state to push for a constitutional, um, a constitutional um, meeting convention where we will reinforce the uh, Constitution to be the way our forefathers wanted. There's a group trying to change the Constitution to make it totally worthless and uh, turn it into um, something where we can have a police state. And I think um, we have to counter those people and seriously contact your state representatives as to what it would take to have a constitutional convention to reinstate and reaffirm that you know we want our gun rights I mean Switzerland has their gun rights uh, to the point that the Swiss the Swiss government says that if, if any government tries to take your gun rights away from you you should go against that rise up against that government and um, yet we have these people who want to register the guns the UN uh, wants to register our guns and uh, you know ask the Jews about what happened when he registered guns in Germany and all these other places they come and take them away and then you're defenseless and you know what happened to the Jews shouldn't have to any happen to anybody and, and there's a lot of right-wing Jews who are, are saying hey you're not getting my my gun and because they know what what can happen and this is um, the reality of, of today so anyhow once again, I hope you had a Merry Christmas. Um, I hope you uh, had some good quality time with your family. Um, and I hope uh, 2010 is better. I know financially we're going to be still in straits. The, this economy hasn't tanked yet, so save your money and put it in things that um, when the inflation hits that you at least got things that you can use for the next, you know, high quality things that you can use for the next 20, 30 years because you're going to need it. Our, our money is going to just turn into Reich marks. You're going to need wheelbarrows. Be like Confederate uh, money. Anyhow, God bless you all. Take care.